originally from Ondo State, but they gave birth to me in Kano State. So I moved from Kano State to Onicha because of my dad. He's a retired uh, civil servant now, but as at then, he moved into Onicha. So we stayed at a custom barracks at Opoko, actually, in Onicha. So that's where I stayed with them to all, to be all moved down here to Lagos. Yeah. I discovered that uh, dance was my passion at the age of 12. I watched a, a video, it, it was a musician called Cisco. He was doing a kind of dance on a rope. I was like, this is sick. How can someone clamp a, a rope and start uh, doing breaking on it? Then, then I just call it rubber. I don't know the name called breaking. I just call it uh, rubber. So I was like, I was saying it in broken. Uh, this guy too much. How I go do dance and you can't come off for ground because in a wire. When I started uh, dancing, my family didn't support me that much because they were like, education, education is like the key, like go and read your book, then I'll be outside trying to dance, but once my dad comes back, because he, he hasn't seen you read today, and when he, he comes back from his work, he asks you what have you read, he starts asking questions. Well, I think now, when he saw me dancing in a couple of shows, and so that people are appreciating me that, okay, this your son is very good. You know, you know, parents, when they see people appreciating what their sons, they that, they have that pride that, yeah, I love my son. Instead of joining bad dance, they appreciate their son for doing a good thing. We're like Maximus, we are happy because we make Jesus popular. We are alive because we pick Yeah, 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 yeah. Hot guy. Hey, what's up? How about? I did. Keep on, keep on. Yeah, that is your shoe. Hey, big boy, man. Yo, Baba. I didn't get any uh, comment training from anyone. I was just watching uh, videos on uh, YouTube. Yeah, the person that really inspired me into what I'm doing very well, like called B-Boying. His name is uh, Victor Kim. He's, he's in a dance school called Quest School. They won uh, ABDC, that's American Best Dance School. I think the season, season two, season three, sorry. They won it. So I watch his videos online and things like that. He was very inspiring. I watch other videos, other kind of gens of dancing. And it really inspired me. Amen. 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 B-boying as a dance then it's not that uh, uh, popular in this one. People are just getting the knowledge of it and people are misunderstanding it. They don't know that B-boy is a culture. Most uh, B-boys have beef from them say that I'm good than you, why should you be on the stage? And in the outside world that is not how they look at it. Either you know how to do it or you don't know as far as you show that interest that okay I want to be a B-boy. They show you stuff, they show you new things that you can learn. When I was uh, 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 doing uh, b-boying, I really don't know uh, 
the tricks and the methods on how to do it. I just do my body anyhow. So it was later when I joined my uh, other crew in Surule called uh, Space Unlimited B-Boy Crew. They showed me that, okay, this thing is basic. You have to know the foundation of every dance you are doing. And in B-Boy, there are things, basic things that you need to know, just like top rock, just like footwork, just like power move. Just, there are so many, many things in down rocks. You have down rocks as the basic. Yeah, we have the one step, we have the two step, we have the three step, four, up to 12 steps. We have CC. So those are the uh, basic things about uh, b-boying that you need to know. And basically you have to know the history of b-boying. As, as a b-boy, you are supposed to talk about it without even dancing. You are supposed to, like, you can lecture others on b-boying. Okay, this is where b-boy grow. grow. You are supposed to tell them that, okay, b-boy is among the elements of hip-hop. We, we have four elements, which is we have uh, the uh, MC, we have the gravity, we have the DJ and the boying. Yeah. So you should, you're supposed to know all those things that okay, even from your sleep, once they wake you up, that like, uh, can you tell me about b-boying? You should, should lecture. You can go to a school and lecture them about b-boying. Without even touching the grounds or doing it. You just have to know how to teach people so that people have that interest. You teaching people and if they have if they can have the interest, why teaching them? Basically, by the time you put your hands on the floor, they begin to love you because when you lecture and people are able to flow with your lecture and they are happy about it once you touch the floor definitely they'll be happy about it called Space Unlimited B-Boy Crew. That is one of the best B-Boy Crew I've ever witnessed. They've really inspired me in so many ways, in top rocking and other things. So basically, they tra we do train very, very well to, to able to keep up to a, a particular standard. We've won the Battle of the Year Nigeria three times in a row. We won it 2011, 2012, and 2013. And other b-boys who do admire us, once we get into a place, that fear begins to, ah, ah, these guys are here again, they are here to kill. And it's kind of fun because we, we don't try to make others uh, become afraid or we just come to do our own thing, have fun. I don't want to be, be poor in life, let me put it that way. Because the kind of way I see my family, the way I, the way I see my family now, is not where I want my family to be. It's not the kind of lifestyle I want to see my family living. I like, I, I see myself living a high class life, yeah. I, cars, the way I, I do dream of big things. But the way I'm seeing things now is not pleasing. I don't want my mom to become a trader anymore. I want her to have a big shop have sales girls that do things. At this age now, she's supposed to be resting, taking care of herself, getting drugs. Right now, she's still struggling to make ends meet for the family. And my dad, I want to set up a very big business for him where he can run because uh, this pension of his stuff, the, the government are not really trying. So my biggest fear is that I don't want them to lose hope on me. I want, them, I want to affect their life before uh, God says, okay, this is the time for you to come. I don't want them to have any uh, loss. I just want to impart. Let them see my impact. Okay, this is what my son did for me when I was alive. I just want to put smile on their faces and people around. And if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.